My people, this one shocked me. Tinobu is now planning to bribe all the bloggers and journalists in Nigeria. Make una share this video. Today, Tubu don't come out to say that the bloggers and journalists, in fact, needs to breathe well. They need to be compensated. They need to be awarded in Nigeria. Say they are doing great work. This one, he talked this so after he planned to regulate social media, have been about social media in his favor, and he no work. Now he don't make you turn. Come the praise bloggers. I beg, make una share this you. Listen to waiting minister of information talk on waiting they go do to all the bloggers and journalists in Nigeria. So they said the information minister Mohammed Idris says Nigerian journalists will breed and flourish under under President Bola Tinubu's government. The minister gave the assurance during his maiden visit to the Nigeria Press Council on Tuesday in Abuja. He said the NPC would discharge its responsibility diligently as a regulator without gagging any newspaper organization. NPC is not as harmful as we used to think. Under my watch, we will not allow it to be harmful. We will ensure that it carries its functions in such a way and manner that press freedom is respected and guaranteed. Mr. Idis explained also, under the administration of President Bola Tinubu, the media will breathe. The President and all members of the Federal Executive Councils, including me, have no intention whatsoever to gag the Nigerian press. <laughs> you turn. The minister, however, said in enjoying his freedom, the media must also be aware of its responsibility to the nation. Tinubu has no intention to gag the Nigerian press, but the freedom that the Nigerian press has also comes with responsibility. You cannot enjoy freedom and think that responsibility is no longer yours, said Mr. Idris. Yes, there will be press freedom, but how do you exercise that press freedom? It is important and imperative for every government to ensure that the press is allowed to do its job. He added, we have seen it in history that the more you try to test the press, the more problematic it becomes for you. And Nigeria has reached such an advanced stage in its demo de um, democratization process that no one would gag the press at this point. <laughs> the minister explained that self-regulation by the media remains the best form of regulation. He recalled that the newspaper's proprietors, Proprietors Association of Nigeria, had come up with the ombudsman to regulate the activities of its members. If that is done and deepened further, that regulation that the government was thinking about will probably not be necessary. Mr. Idris said, <laughs> What an automatic you thought. What did this would think we ourselves? <laughs> I have seen one thing that Tinubu surrendered, but succumbed social media. They were pushing that narrative uh, uh, last week in the Senate to, if I to gag, I've been a regular social media, especially Facebook and Twitter. But because they, they, in fact, they not, it didn't work, the senators rejected that. They, in fact, they threw that out of the Senate. Now, Tugu don't make a U-turn to tell us say that bloggers and the journalists deserve a good living in Nigeria and they need to be compensated. In fact, he went ahead to say that there's no need for them to use force on bloggers or on, 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 on newspapers or, or media or, or press. Say that the more na they try to use force, that the more problematic, the more it becomes worse. Say they need to, if I to need, they need to speak with them on what they say. If I <laughs> so now you won't bribe the media, I won't bribe the you know social media bloggers and journalists so that they don't we go they go carry your news no matter what. No one is obliged to success. <laughs> it's not a must must be a present. If you have a questionable character, we talk it. That's the work of media. So if you are trying to connive press, connive media and journalists so that they will be in your favor, so that we, oh more they will see talk. Because talk is free. Guys, what do you think? But it's you know, don't think this is your plan go work out because media goes to talk. There's no way. If you want to compensate, there's no way you compensate all, all these small, small bloggers like us. Are you still going to compensate us? Or, <laughs> I don't know.
know because we still talk. We still talk about Chicago. We still talk about FBI. If another case comes, we will still talk about it. Anyway, what do you guys think of this video? Do you think that they will succeed in planning to, you know, take control over social media or bloggers or press by? you know compensating them or you know appreciating their work because you know say they're not <laughs> there's no smoke without fire nothing good comes easily i don't think they will succeed i doubt for me my own opinion i say i doubt even if they want to compensate they will not compensate every 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 blogger so every journalist in nigeria so the opposition will still talk we still continue doing that job that's my own opinion though